Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Hope you all are doing well. In today's video, sharing with you all an interesting four bedroom detached property. This is Henley from Red Row Homes. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end. It could be useful to you. Now this is located in Tingley, very near to Morley and Leeds. Going with the floor plans, in the ground floor you have the garage, living, kitchen with dining and living space, utility and a washroom. On the first floor you have four bedrooms with two bedrooms having the ensuite and a common family bathroom. Now as you enter the house you'll find a lengthy and spacious hall in front of you with various partitions made towards your living, upstairs and kitchen with dining space. If you can see you also have uh, entrance towards the garage from here. So first let's explore the living room. A very spacious and comfortable living room. You can easily plan two to three sofa sets and a TV set and there's plenty of room space to walk around. You also get this extended bay windows towards the front so plenty of light falling in the living space. Now if you observe this is much similar to the other property which we viewed last week that's the Hampstead and also most of the retro properties the living room you get the similar features with a decent space living room and the extended bay windows. So this was the living room, now moving towards the kitchen with living and dining space which is coming just behind it. Uh, it's a very lengthy kitchen with really good space. Towards one side they have planned the complete kitchen space and you also have access towards the utility from there. In the middle you can plan a very big dining table like this and towards the other end you have additional living space or the family space. And in this property, they also gave a very wide door uh, access towards the garden. So let's just check out the extended family space here. It's a decent space. You can plan television with sofas or you can plan your dining table, gym, anything towards this corner here. There's a wide window towards this side, so plenty of light falling in this space. Again, if you observe the kitchen uh, with the living and dining space is much similar to the one we viewed last week, that's the Hampstead. Almost the entire ground floor is much similar to that property. But uh, these extended French doors are slightly different. Again, you get a decent garden with fence around it at the back. Now towards the kitchen side here, you get the extended worktop on two different sides with an additional worktop in the middle. I like this idea of giving this worktop in the middle and at the bottom you have some cabinet space uh, with wine coolers and other stuff. And you have some additional cabinets towards this side and also the opposite side. I was actually expecting this to be the integrated fridge freezer but uh, the fridge and freezer are towards the opposite side. So this is an additional uh, feature which is added. You'll be getting this integrated double door fridge freezer with the double oven. It's included in the price. It's standard uh, for these models. So it's one of those reasons why the price is slightly high for this 4 bit property. And uh, from here you also have access towards the utility in the ground floor. You can plan your washing machine dryer, there's a wash basin and also you have access towards the garden from this utility. The space is quite okay in the utility. And as I mentioned before, uh, you have underflow heating for this entire ground floor. Now in this kitchen towards the other side you also have a small storage space. You can plan some kind of storage in here, you have the door and lock. Overall an amazing kitchen with really good space and style. Now before moving to the first floor, let's check out the washroom here in the ground floor. 
so this is the washroom here you have the water closet sink and they gave an exhaust uh, they could have provided a window in this washroom but uh, for some reason you don't get a window now just beside the washroom you also have another door uh, this is the entrance towards the garage so we covered all the rooms in the ground floor now let's move towards the first floor and check out the rooms there so on the first floor we have four bedrooms with the two bedrooms having the ensuite and a common family bathroom so this is the master bedroom of the house it's a double bedroom and uh, actually it's slightly bigger than a double bedroom because of this extended bay window feature a uh, really beautiful window i like their window styles so this is one of the common feature in most of the retro properties they gave uh, for the master bedroom these extended bay windows which is really a good feature so you can plan a king size bed like this and there's plenty of room space to walk around you can plan your wardrobes like this here they do have different styling options uh, but these are optional you have to pay on top of it now let's check out the ensuite the space is quite okay you have the walk in shower water closet sink and you also get a nice window so the ventilation is really good So this was the master bedroom. Overall a decent bedroom with good style. Now just beside it you're getting your second bedroom of the house. This is a double bedroom and even this has got attached bath. This is slightly smaller than the master bedroom. You can plan a double bed and this decent space to walk around. You get a wide window even in this bedroom so plenty of natural light falling in. Now let's check out the ensuite. The space looks quite okay. You have walk-in shower, sink, water closet and there's a nice window. You can also plan your wardrobes like this in the bedroom. Now these are not standard. It's completely optional. Overall a decent room. Now let's move to the other rooms of the property. I really like the window space here in the middle. Especially the design. Uh, they actually gave multiple windows which are small in size. It's a nice idea. Plenty of light falls on the staircase. Now let's check out the family bathroom. So this is the common bath. You have the tub, water closet, sink and there's a nice window so the ventilation is really good now moving towards the third bedroom of the house so this is the third bedroom it's a double bedroom again you can plan a double bed like this and there's really good space to walk around. You get a nice window towards one side, so plenty of light falling even in this bedroom. Now if you observe, they haven't uh, provided the wardrobes in this room. Uh, that's one of the reasons it looks a bit spacious. You can use this as a kids room, guest room, anything you want to.
and just beside this third bedroom you're getting your fourth bedroom of the house so this is slightly smaller than the third bedroom again it's bigger than the regular single bedrooms you can plan a cot I mean a small cot and you'll get decent space to walk around you also have a nice window so the ventilation is good even in this room you can use it as a study workspace or kids room anything you want to So this was the fourth bedroom of the house. Now just as you come out of the fourth bedroom towards your right side you have another storage space wherein they have provided the water heater. You also get a door and lock uh, to the space. We covered all the rooms in this property. Overall a decent property with really good style and comfort. I hope you liked watching my today's video. Do give me your suggestions and feedback in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you're watching my channel for the first time and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and feel free to activate the bell icon at the bottom so that you won't miss out on my future uploads. Stay safe, stay connected. See you in another vlog.